Hey, what's up everybody? I uh, haven't made a video in a while talking about the Z4 Coupe, uh, but you know, I still have the car. So um, I'm just gonna be making a short video today about lifter tick. Now, some of you may have lifter tick and that's why you're here. Um, and some of you might just wanna learn about lifter tick, uh, which would be great too. So in this video, I'm just kinda gonna go over what exactly lifter tick is, uh, maybe how you can solve it, some ways that I've solved it, uh, and hopefully I'll get some good audio of lifter tick on my own Z4 coupe. My car has the N52 engine, uh, so if you have the N52, my problem is probably pretty similar to yours. I believe the N52 came on the uh, BMW 128, the 328, and of course the uh, Z4 3.0 SIs. Uh, I'm not completely sure if the M54, M52 suffer the same problem with lifter tick, but you know, you'll get a good idea of what it sounds like and uh, kind of, you know, what to look for when it comes to lifter tick. Now I'm gonna talk about uh, how to solve lifter tick, uh, what it is, and maybe some measures that you can take to avoid lifter tick. Lifter tick is basically how the lifters on your engine are just unadjusted because when the car starts up, it's cold. So they aren't adjusted for that temperature. Chances are if you have a BMW and it has lifter tick, the lifters are hydraulic. So basically the lifters make that noise because they aren't adjusted for the cold engine. But once your engine is warm, as mine is now, uh, there shouldn't be any noise or any prominent noise of the lifters ticking. I just took like a five, probably under five minute drive. As you can see, the uh, temperature gauge is right where it should be, right in the middle. Um, so let's go see if there's still lifter tick. As you can hear, the uh, tick is definitely not as prominent as it was before. That's because the lifters have been warmed up and now they are adjusted properly. So now I'm just going to give you a quick audio clip of the engine. Now why does lifter tick happen? Um, well, it's actually a pretty common thing for my car at least because I don't daily drive this car very far every day. The reason is the N52 engine really likes to be driven. So when you don't drive your car a lot or you take it on very short drives, the lifters start to tick because they are out of adjustment. Uh, and basically just the more you drive it, the longer you drive the engine, uh, the more that the lifters will kind of, you know, know their place around. I'm not an expert on this at all, but um, just from my experience with my car, I've noticed quite a bit that after I drive it for a while, if I'm driving it consistently every day, I usually don't get lifter tick. Um, but if I'm driving it, you know, maybe two or three times a week, uh, you know, I'm taking it on short drives, that's when I start to get lifter tick. Another reason why lifter tick can happen is if you're keeping your engine at lower RPMs. If you're driving your car and keeping your RPMs under 2000 or so, and you're not driving it quite often, that's another reason why you could have lifter tick. So a way to avoid that, if you're taking small drives often, is to just, uh, you know, really push the RPMs higher. Um, if you shift at a higher RPM, then you are less prone to lifter tick because it's putting, you know, the same kind of wear on the engine as if you were taking it on a longer drive. So if you're driving it short distances, it'll avoid or maybe reduce your chances of lifter tick by just revving it out longer or shifting later than you would think. For my experience, lifter tick is not a problem at all. It's just kind of, you know, the engine's way of saying that it's not warmed up yet. I've never heard of any like crazy issues because of lifter tick. Um, there isn't, you know, any, you know, performance issues from lifter tick. The only noticeable thing for me at least is just the sound. 
and the sound is quite prominent as you heard it's uh pretty loud and people will probably be like oh like your car sounds like it's messed up or something like that but then you know after it warms up it'll sound just as it usually does and you know you can go along with your day i also read an article where someone used different oil for their car and it actually helped reduce lifter tick. You definitely want to make sure that you're using the right oil for your car, especially your mileage, because um, that will definitely affect your lifter tick. All right, everybody, that's about it for this video. Uh, you know, definitely stay tuned for more Z4 Coupe updates. I know I've been definitely lacking just because I've been very busy with other stuff, other videos. Um, but yeah, look forward to some cool new videos about the BMW. It's still, you know, looking good. Um, no major modifications yet, but keep your eyes out there. I'll try to, you know, keep uploading some good content for everybody.